Well, a lot of the keep out signs are coming down on Hart Miller Island. What was a tiny foothold of a state park has been expanded into hundreds of acres. Alex Dimitri reports it's now open to the public. Up until today, this is as close as most people could get to Hart Miller Island, either passing by by boat or landing on a narrow strip of beach on what was a tiny but very popular state park. On the weekends, this place is you know, hundreds of boats out here. Previously to today, you had the beach uh, and camping and picnicking, and those were the only features that you could enjoy here on the island. But you don't have to stay on the beach anymore. Now we're going to be have um, half of Hart Miller Island to use as a recreational spot for folks who like to do bird watching, folks who like to go camping. 300 acres, the lush green end of the island, has five miles of trails. The north end is still off limits. That's because it's still being built up from dredge material seen in this Army Corps of Engineers video. 98 million in cubic yards so far, sculpted and planted over four decades to become a state park. Exactly. We've seen the progress over the years, and it's just been magnificent. But it wasn't always bird song and scenery. I guess as a citizen, I'm the first to say we were probably wrong. Paul Brilski was among those who fought the project, worried dredge materials would pollute local waters. They haven't. It's really wonderful how we could have such a contentious uh, relationship turn into, to transform into a partnership. And to enjoy, you know, the views that this place offers is just an unbelievable spot to be out here in the Chesapeake Bay. This island will now be open to the public Thursdays through Mondays through the end of September. Back to you on TV Hill. Now, once restoration of the northern end of the island is complete, it too will be open to the public.